My name is Richard Moore. I work at the College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering as the manager of analytical facilities. This tool is called an X-ray photoelectron spectrometer. And what it essentially does, it bombards the surface with X-rays, creating secondary electrons. We collect those electrons and measure their energy as well as the number of those electrons. And by knowing that, we can back calculate the composition of the surface that we're bombarding. And it's certainly very helpful in nanoscience, at least in the semiconductor industry, because we need to know what these materials are that we're depositing to make these devices that go into our cell phones and our TVs and in the cameras you're using today. As composition changes, the electronic properties change. So the things may not function as they're designed in that particular application. Your cell phone may not work correctly or the TV may not work correctly. This is one of the few analytical tools that is capable of measuring electronic bonding. So we, we know what the chemical environment of the electron uh, that we're measuring is, as well as the composition. Oh, in the past, um, I've used it to date old documents uh, by looking at the materials and the pigments of the inks. I've looked at ancient funerary vases from China to try to understand the age of these uh, pieces of pottery. Uh, I've looked at everything from, from paint chips to mozzarella cheese, just in order to understand uh, what's going on chemically, uh, and again, it's, it's strictly forensics.